Some people will use a symbolism of the relationship of God to the universe, wherein God is say brilliant light, only somehow veiled, hiding underneath all these forms that you see as you look around you. But the truth is funnier than that. It is that you are looking right at the brilliant light now, that the experience you are having, which you call ordinary everyday consciousness, pretending you're not it, that experience is exactly the same thing as it. There's no difference at all. In other words, when you really start to see things and you go into the nature of what it is to see, what vision is, or what smell is, or what touch is, you realize that that vision is the brilliant light of the cosmos. That it is actually, see, the source of all light is in the eye. If there were no eyes in this world, the sun would not be light. You evoke light out of the universe. In the same way, you, by virtue of having a soft skin, evoke hardness out of wood. Wood is only hard in relation to a soft skin. It's your eardrum that evokes noise out of the air. You, by being this organism, call into being the whole universe of light and color and hardness and heaviness and everything. So everybody says, all right, know yourself, look within, find out who you are. Because the harder you look, you won't be able to find it. And then you'll realize that it isn't there at all. There isn't a separate you. Your mind is what there is, everything.